We are five days away from fundamentally transforming the United States of America. Are you prepared to take the oath, Senator? I am. I, Barack Hussein Obama, do I, Barack, solemnly swear. I, Barack Hussein Obama, do solemnly swear. That I will execute the office of President to the United States faithfully. That I will execute the off faithfully the pres office of President of the, the United States. The office of President of the United States faithfully. And will to the best of my ability. And will to the best of my ability. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help you God. So help me God. So help you God. So help me God. So help you God. So help Barack me God. Obama, what are your thoughts on the Declaration well, Constitution? You know, I, I, I think it's a remarkable document. Uh, I think uh, which one uh, the, the original Constitution uh, as well as as well as the uh, Civil War amendments but I think it is an imperfect document and I think it is a document that reflects uh, some deep flaws uh, in uh, American culture the, the colonial culture nascent at that time we are five days away from fundamentally transforming the United States of America And will to the best of my ability. And will to the best of my ability. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. The top visitor on the list is Andy Stern, the president of the Service Employees International Union with 22 visits. And we are beginning. We have a offices now in Australia and in Switzerland and London in South America and Africa. We've been working with unions around the world and what we're working towards is building a global organization. Because you know, workers of the world unite. <laughs> it's not just a slogan anymore. It's a way we're going to have to do our work. We're trying to use the power of persuasion. And if that doesn't work, we're going to use the persuasion of power because there are governments and there are opportunities to change laws that affect these companies. I'm not naive. We're ready to strike. It started last summer with the so-called big box ordinance. Labor wanted it. Business didn't. We took names. We watched how they voted. We know where they live. In October, Andy Stern the president of the Service Employees International Union. There are opportunities in America to share better in the wealth, to rebalance the power, and unions and government are part of the solution. We have a lot of good friends of labor who are running in this election. I admire all of them. But the question I do want SEIU to ask yourselves it's not who's talking about your agenda, but who can change our politics in Washington so we can actually make your agenda a reality. What we're working towards is building a global organization because comp you know, workers of the world unite. That's why I am not just asking you to trust in my ability to change this country. I'm asking you to trust in yourselves. I'm asking you to bet not just on me, I'm asking you to bet on us on our capacity to lift our sights, to join together and forge a better future for our children and our grandchildren. That's what you did with me in 2004, because I probably wouldn't be standing here if it hadn't been for the SEIU endorsement back then. And the fact that all these folks sitting here right here, they walked doors for me. They made phone calls for me. They turned out the vote for me. We're trying to use the power of persuasion. And if that doesn't work, we're going to use the persuasion of power. Barack knows what it means to be a black man living in a country and a culture that is controlled by rich white people. Just to sing God bless America? No, no, no. Not God bless America. God damn America. That's in the Bible. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help you God. So help me God. Killing innocent people. God damn America. 
for treating our citizens as less than human. We bombed Hiroshima, we bombed Nagasaki, and we nuked far more than the thousands in New York and the Pentagon, and we never batted an eye. We have supported state terrorism against the Palestinians and black South Africans, and now we are indignant because the stuff we have done overseas is now brought right back into our own front yard. Two of my favorite political philosophers, Mao Zedong, Mao Zedong, Mao Zedong. Number of requests, but the reality is that whether it was a David Pluff video or an Obama speech, that a huge part of our press strategy was focused on making the media cover what Obama was actually saying with a reporter. So it was very much, we controlled it as opposed to the press controlled it. Very rarely did we communicate through the press anything that we didn't absolutely control. So that what the voters heard, we determined as opposed to some editor in a TV station.